There's the bell, and these competitors are locked into the unforgiving hell in a cell. We've seen the physical damage that this structure can impart on superstars, but what we don't see is the mental anguish that comes with participating in hell in a cell. As we all know, Hell in a Cell matches tend to deteriorate once the competitors leave the confines of the ring. Okay, he's re-entering the ring. Kick to the gun. Oh, brutal forearm. He's doing some dangerous redecorating. I think the table really ties it all together. to have been kept down there. a superstar get over the menacing cell. I don't know if you can get over it, Cole. It's an evil struggle. Both superstars perched up high. Not from a oh, no, look at that guy. Broken in half. Pure chaos. Carnage and scraps of table everywhere. Taking the brutality of this match to a new level. A steady charge here from Edge. Edge is making an opportunity for himself. And that was an effective attack, guys. Oh, 
off of a career for a chance at winning this match. Forget years off a career. That impact will take years off of a life. Oh, no. Right to the back of the neck. And we might be about to go from commentators to participants in this one, fellas. Catches an uppercut. He's climbing the cell now, guys. On the move. Now, this has to be zapping every last bit of energy. All right, he's at the top now. Oh, man. In terms of worst ideas of all time, fighting on top of the cell is right up there on the list. You can just feel the imminent disaster in the air. Staggering to his feet, but he won't like what's coming next. you want to go making enemies with. Yeah, Balor may regret ever betraying Edge in the first place after suffering a loss like this at the hands of the 